So it's me guys, welcome back to another video. Hi. So as you can see from the title, I bleached my hair because I got bored and this pandemic thing, quarantine thing is just really getting on my nerves. So it's the government. Like sis, sana may ginagawa silang aksyon. Like, congratong aksyon, hindi yung paligoy-ligoy sila. Like, duh. Let's just hope I won't be put to jail because of this. <laughs> my hair is orangey, brassy, blonde. Look, na tone ko na siya, pero it's still brassy. So I'm gonna have my hair bleach again, but this time sa salon na because I have to admit, I kinda missed some spots. And it's kinda uneven sa ibang areas, but it's not that obvious. Brad Mondo, if you're ever gonna put this up on your channel, if you ever see this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. I tried to follow your instructions. I have watched all of your videos about bleaching hairs, dyeing hairs, and stuff like that. Just by watching it is not enough. So if you want to see how I bleach my hair, then just keep on watching. So I have my hair sectioned already and I have my gloves on to protect my hands. Plastic mixing bowl, this brush thingy, 40 volume developer, I have 3 bottles, bleaching powder, 3 packs of it, and the purple keratin to tone my hair. I wrap my neck with an old shirt to protect it from the bleach. I put the bleaching powder and hair developer into the bowl. The ratio with this is 1 is to 1. Now mix them together and make sure to mix it well until it becomes this cake mix-like consistency. Before I apply the bleach on my whole hair, I'm gonna do a test run first to see if my hair can withstand the bleach and how light it's gonna get. You see, according to Brad Mondo, Asian hair is hard to lighten because we have dark hair. I have to mention that I didn't wash my hair for several days because I need my natural oils on my scalp to protect it from the bleach. And by the way, I had my hair bleached last year and then dyed it to dark red, then dyed it to black. So I expect that my hair is gonna be orange with some red tint. So basically, after bleaching, I need two more rounds of bleach to achieve the light blonde that I want. But I'm gonna have that done at a salon because, sis, this thing is hard. See how I saturate my hair with bleach because we don't want any strand left behind. Also, notice how I leave a gap from my roots because the roots process faster since there is heat coming from our scalp. I'm just gonna leave this on for 45 minutes and I'll be back. I have rinsed my hair and this is the result. Like I said earlier, I expected this orange color. Now time to apply the bleach all over my hair. You gotta work fast because we don't want the hair underneath to over process. So when it so when will you apply the bleach on your roots? You gotta apply that 10 minutes before you rinse your hair. While I was filming, my camera decided to die. If you want to learn more about hair bleaching, I recommend watching Brad Mondo's video. I will have the link above and down below the description box. I have to be honest, I missed a little important step and that is to incubate my hair so it would lighten more and faster to incubate the hair spray on some water in a plastic shower cap and wear it on your head i then rinse my hair and apply the purple keratin after air drying my hair which i forgot to film sorry it for our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and sana may natutunan kayo. Before bleaching your hair, do your research. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button if you want to see more of me. And of course, don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts which will be linked down below. See you guys on my next video. Bye!